Okay. All right, are we all set, Alan? Ready? I think so. Okay. Hi, this is Dawn Eden for Video Wave, and I am in the tour bus with John Auer and Ken Stringfellow of the Posies. As they done. Uh, thank you. As, as they prepare to play Tramps as part of their tour for their third album on DGC, Amazing Disgrace. Oh my God, do you do auctions by any chance? <laughs> great. How much am I bid for the original copy on Car Records of I Am the Cosmos? Oh. I've got a copy of that, yeah, if any of you guys do. want one. Did you, you do? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I need a better copy. Mine's kind of beat up. Yeah. I was <laughs> promised one by a journalist like years ago, but... Those but journalists. Kind of flaky sometimes. Oh, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. They, they, they ne never come through. So you guys must be kind of relieved now that you have a, a third album that you don't have to quite so constantly put up with comparisons to the Hollies and the Beatles because you're better known for your own sound. Yes. <laughs> and reading through the press packet that you so lovingly provided from our first album, uh, mm -hmm. definitely... Beatles and Holly's uh, comparisons abound, and uh, it's probably true. I, I, I'm sure we were a lot, you know, we just hadn't, you know, it takes a while to find your your voice as any kind of artist. I'm speaking mm. metaphorically when I use the word voice. And, you know, we're still kind of, in a way, it's always like we're starting out, you know, we're, we're not that old or anything, so. Mm -hmm. We're just figuring some stuff out, man. But, by the way, when they say they're not that old, I think they mean that they're both younger than me, and they're trying to rub it in. I was born September 3rd, 1968, guys. Oh, I was born in just a month, a couple months later. I was born October 30th, 68. So you're younger. And I'm younger than both. I'm, I'm 9, 29, 69. Ah. Uh, Ah, too, too bad. Well, at least we were born in the year of I Am Curious Yellow. I think that's very important. I always, I always think of James being, Colbert. being born in the, the White Album. Kind of, that's kind of where I, I looked off. James Coburn in I Am Curious Yellow? <laughs> Wasn't he in the movie version of that? <laughs> I swear to God. In the movie version of I Am Curious <laughs> Yellow. Book, right. I, I have the book. <laughs> I thought he was in the movie. I thought the movie was like a Dutch, like a Swedish. Swedish. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, was he the revolutionary college student who did that woman up the butt? I mean, yeah. it's like that's that's basically what the movie is. Oh, that's Last Tango in Paris. That's like the butter scene, right? That's Marlon uh, Brando, right? Ah, uh, yes. And and I apologize for already following, you know, to the lowest common denominator. Please blame it on really bad heartburn, which I've had for weeks, which which the posies are are, are so nice. They're doing absolutely nothing to aggravate. Thank you. Yes, this will help. <laughs> now now Joan is trying to send me a message, which could aggravate my heartburn if I let it. Oh, that's not what I mean. <laughs> I know. So cruel. I know. You're a nice time. Really? This is, this is like you? totally going to be on cable access. Oh, public we have, access. We have of a course. cable access feel already happening here. This, <laughs> this is definitely a cable, like local access lighting rig with this kind of sitting around. Like this is a total. Pro, let's like this is a prop collection here. Go ahead, show it. Turn oh, the camera. This is the prop, prop collection here. <laughs> totally the Mystic Bottle. It, the white jelly beans. Are those? Are they these oh, soybeans? To make it look like the inside of a tour bus. See, we do like the monkeys too. To tribute to my <laughs> Boy, all his liquid paper money isn't gonna help him now. Are you guys familiar with us? You, you heard about that? No. What? What? Are we familiar with what? Oh wait, this is, you're talking about Come something on. more interesting. Tell us what. Oh well, well I heard that Michael Nesmith is in hiding now, and and that his Pacific Arts company is like folded, uh, because he's being sued by PBS and like everybody else. Oh, wow. He made all these really bad uh, business deals. He he tried to. Um, he, he supposedly had some sort of agreement to show the um, Ken Burns baseball document. No, I mean, not to show it, to release what? it on video with his Pacific Arts company. Uh -huh. um, and then um, PBS somehow didn't come through with the tape. He went ahead and released it anyway. And then he formed some other company thinking that PBS wouldn't find him, and they did. Wow. So uh, that's why he's not touring with the other monkeys. No, this is Michael Mesmith. I have no idea what you're talking about. Michael Mesmith. Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> so what I, what I want to know if you guys are familiar with uh, the legend of Star Rock. You guys ever speaking of cable access? Oh, yep. Star Rock. We are we are all part of the original scene. This is really cetera, weird because I was at Coney Island High last night and there was a videotape of Star Rock playing. Whoa. Yeah. Was that a Seattle public access show? No, no, it's from LA. It's from LA, but it's just crazy. It's like we are all part of the original scene. It's like how can you explain Star Rock? It's kind of like as if. Uh, I don't know, Cher meets Monster Magnet, kind of. A little bit. Hmm. Visually, visually. It's like if the, the Eurythmics worshipped Satan. 
So it's very, very 80s, I take it. It's, um, it's everything. 70s people being 80s, but not having heard of much past the 60s. So how did you guys manage to get on the L.A. shows when you were touring? Say what? Oh, we were never on Star Rock. Oh, I see. I'd like to put that to rest now. There's been a lot of talk over the years as to how the Posies have helped with develop Star Rock into more of a mass appeal mm -hmm. kind of product. But uh, we're, we're working with Carol Co. and Qualcomm. <laughs> kind of new format because there's no format that's good enough for Star Rock. We want to... We, we're working with a kind of a cubicle mem memory chip bubble that's going to be out. Oh, I need to brush up on my Philip K. Dick. This is all too much. <laughs> I need to brush up on my... Yeah. Um, now, now, you've completely uh, caused me to forget the name of the video that I'm supposed to be introducing now. Oh, this is all an introduction to a video? Oh, uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, and then afterwards oh. we come back and, and talk more as though we've seen the video, even though we actually haven't. But I've um, seen so it. it's, 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 uh, are we going to do all Dream door, All Day? Dream All Day. Dream or Definite day. Door. Which one is it going to be? Um, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what video you're going to show, and it's going to come on, and we're going to cut away, and you're never going to told us what video it is. Well, I'll tell you what, if we can't find it, we'll just use the Young Fresh Fellows picture book, okay? Yes. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, about, about to see a Posies video in 3D. My God, the memories, they come back instantly. <laughs> Don Eden, back with you on Video Wave with, with John Auer, Ken Stringfellow. One is purple, one is pink. No, and my contacts are fine. It's okay. And uh, oh, I'm glad someone's are. There's some killer public access in Seattle, too. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a thing called oh. hot, hot Tub TV. Wait a second, what about the Cobain mystery? <laughs> Who killed Kurt Cobain? Is this a show? Oh yeah, there's a total in lunatic Eric Foray lookalike who you won't know who's totally <laughs> unraveling the mystery. <laughs> Have you heard of a guy named Nardwar, the her the human oh. serviette? I've never seen oh, him. Oh, oh. oh. amazing. <laughs> there's a legendary Mickey Dolan's interview. Yeah, I heard yeah, about that. So right. <laughs> doot doot loot doot. <laughs> doot doot loot doot. What did doot doot? <laughs> oh, we know Nardwar. What did he ask you when he talked to you? He must have interviewed so, you guys. So the posies. No, are you? You maybe perhaps think you maybe sound like the Smithereens, perhaps. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> but are you familiar with Nero and the Romans? Legendary <laughs> '60s videotape. Oh my God, it's it's, it's uncanny. <laughs> doot doot loot doot. You're almost as annoying. Like the most exactly. I I saw uh, I saw him. <laughs> Tor I, I've seen him get kicked out of Lollapalooza. I've oh. seen him torture Sonic Youth. I, I heard about I've that. seen I him. They beat him up. No, no, they just broke a record over his head or something like that. <laughs> likes I've seen him uh, ask Bob Denver like extremely penetrating questions. Like, so, would you like to be Bob or Little Buddy? <laughs> <laughs> How should I address you? <laughs> this is definitely over three minutes, by the way. We, if we were, on, if we were a Motown single, we'd be doing the big fade right now. Oh, wh wh what about him? Uh, going up to Mikhail Gorbachev at a black tie event and saying to him in Russian, keep on rocking, rocking in the, the free, free world. world. <laughs> oh, and getting healed by Ernest Angeli. That's another good one. 